Section two of Emily Dickinson on Death by Emily Dickinson. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gone. Autumn, 1876, to Dr. and Mrs. Holland. Saturday Eve. Dear Hollands, good night. I can't stay any longer in a world of death. Austin is ill of the fever. I buried my garden last week. Our man, Dick, lost a little girl through the scarlet fever. I thought, perhaps, that you were dead, and not knowing the sexton's address, interrogate the daisies. Ah, dainty, dainty death, ah, democratic death, grasping the proudest zinnia from my purple garden, then deep to his bosom calling the serf's child. Say, is he everywhere? Where shall I hide my things? Who is alive? The woods are dead. Is Mrs. H. alive? Annie and Katie, they are below, or received to nowhere. I shall not tell how short time is, for I was told by lips which sealed as soon as it was said, and the open revere the shut. You were not here in summer. Summer. My memory flutters. Had I... was there a summer... You should have seen the fields go, gay little entomology, swift little ornithology, dancer and floor and cadence quite gathered away, and I, a phantom, to you a phantom, rehearse the story, an orator of feather unto an audience of fuzz, and pantomimic plaudits, quite as good as a play indeed, tell Mrs. Holland she is mine, and ask her if vice versa. Mine is but just the thief's request. Remember me to-day. Such are the bright chirographies of the Lamb's book. Good night. My ships are in. My window overlooks the wharf. One yacht and a man of war. Two brigs and a schooner. Down with a topmast. Lay her a hold, a hold. Emily End of Section 2